Hey, this is Wyatt Vaughn with the New Orleans Junior Journalism Program with this week's Purple and Gold Preview. This week, after a heartbreaking loss at the hands of the Florida Gators in Gainesville, the LSU Tigers will look to bounce back and take on the number two overall Georgia Bulldogs at 2.30 this Saturday in Tiger Stadium. Here are the keys to the game. For Georgia, they've got to pressure the quarterback. That has got to be number one on their list. They have a great defense. The thorn in their side has been pressuring the quarterback. DeAndre Walker has been their best rusher this year with four sacks. Other than that, they only average one sack per game, which ranks in the hundreds among all FBS schools. Other than that, they have great DBs, a young linebacking core, but talented linebacking core, and they should be able to do well against LSU's offense if they can rush the passer. The second thing is on offense. They've got to get the ground game going. Elijah Holyfield and DeAndre Swift have been great this year. Elijah Holyfield averaging over seven yards a carry. If they can get the ground game going against LSU's stout offense, they should be in good shape to score a good amount of points. The third thing is they've got to handle the crowd. Back in 2012, UGA went to Columbia, South Carolina to face a number six overall ranked South Carolina team. Georgia was ranked number five in the country at the time and looking to maybe win the SEC East and even a national championship. They went into that game high on their horses after a couple of big wins and got absolutely blown out 35-7. to In that game, it was obvious to see they couldn't handle the crowd. That's what they're going to have to do this Saturday against an even worse and more hostile environment in LSU. That game also draws a lot of parallels in the fact that they will be going against some all-world defenders. In 2012, it was former number one overall high school prospect and number one overall NFL draft pick defensive end Jadavion Clowney. Clowney had a field day against the Bulldogs back in 2012. This Saturday, it's going to be Greedy Williams and Devin White of the LSU Tigers. Number 40 and number 29 in the purple and gold have put up great numbers since the beginning of their career, and they are going to be the leaders of this LSU defense when the Bulldogs come to town on Saturday. For LSU, they're going to have to run the ball well and be balanced overall on offense. Their problems on offense mostly come when they get too one-dimensional, when they try to either pass a lot or run a lot. They need to keep the offense more in a balanced variation where they can run the ball well and pass the ball well. Last week, against the stout Florida Gators defense, they only had 180 rushing yards, and 79 of those came on one touchdown drive. So other than that one drive, they only had 101 rushing yards, which is not good, especially when you don't have an above-average quarterback. Joe Burrow has been solid all year, but he finally started to show some cracks on Saturday, throwing a pick six in the fourth quarter and another pick on the next drive to really end the game. Another big thing about their offense, they have to hold the ball, they need to eat up a lot of clock, and they have to make sure the UGA offense isn't on the field as much as LSU is. The second thing is they have to make Georgia one-dimensional, whether it is by stopping the passing game or the running game. They cannot let Georgia do both. Georgia has a great offense and has proved that all year. If they can stop Jake Fromm from throwing the ball or stop Elijah Holyfield and DeAndre Swift from running the ball, they should be okay to contain the other one, especially since they have all-world defensive players, like I mentioned earlier, like Greedy Williams, Devin White, not to mention all-star talent at safety with Grant Delpit, John Battle, defensive linemen like Rashard Lawrence and Braden Fajoko. The defense is the strong suit of LSU, and that is what they're going to have to lean on if they want to win this game. The final key for the game for LSU is to keep Joe Burrow clean. That was the thorn in their side last week against Florida. Although he didn't get sacked a ton of times, he was pressured and was constantly taking hits the entire game. If they can keep him off the turf, they should be able to run some good offense. They have done good on offense if they can keep Joe Burrow off the turf this year. Against Auburn, they, they did a great job against a very good defensive line in Auburn. They kept them off the ground, and they were able to capitalize offensively. This past weekend against Florida, they didn't do so well. Voshan Joseph for Florida had two sacks, and he's only a linebacker. Ja'Kai Polite had maybe the play of the game when he strip-sacked Joe Burrow when LSU was in Florida territory, up 7-0, about to take a commanding lead. 
if that play doesn't happen and LSU goes down and scores because their offense was already clicking on all cylinders, that game might be over and done with. That's all I've got for you today. This is Wyatt Vaughn signing off for J.R. Nola.